Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a secondary timeline in Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to create a secondary timeline. As you may know, that Final Cut uses what's called a magnetic timeline and it often looks similar to this. As you can see, in these boxes is where I created my secondary timeline and it came in clutch when I was adding effects especially when I was adding text effects and different audio tracks in timeline I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now so first there's four methods to do this I'm gonna show you the easiest ones to do it first let me show you an example so I hit W this is what the timeline does automatically and when you're dragging clips in it connects them this is the magnetic timeline I love it but some cases it becomes annoying so what you do is you go to the clip you want to select and you hold the Q button down over it and what it does it adds a secondary timeline right here so you can start editing accordingly that's one way to do it the second way to do it is go anywhere on your timeline where you want to insert the secondary timeline hold the option key down on your keyboard and the letter w and that will add this right here third way to create the magnetic timeline is one of my favorites and easiest is you select the clip you have on your on your workspace hold down the letter p and drag your mouse up and look how it literally lifts it up this is probably like my most used way to do of doing it when i'm editing and the last way to create the secondary timeline is to code command option and the up button on your keyboard and it lifts it up as well. So let me sh so show you guys in action. This is one of my vlogs I created. Let's say I want to add a track here. So I'm going to hold command option up. And I'm going to move this out of here. Let's say I wanted to. Let's say I want to lift this up right here. I'm going to hold P on a keyboard while I have it selected and lift up. And I can move things around. You see how that works? Just move things around. I love having that capability. And hopefully doing this, you guys will learn some cool things on the power of having a secondary timeline in your Final Cut Pro 10 projects. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button if you want to see more tutorials like this on the channel as well as unboxings, reviews, and of course filmmaking strategies and tips and tricks. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video and as always don't forget to ignite. See ya!